the wet sand process now. So Nikki just started and we do 1500 with a hand block for the first round. And what she's doing is knocking all the texture out, all the orange peel, getting it completely smooth and watching that nothing gets underneath the block because if you push too hard with something in between, you'll put some deep scratches in. But this first stage is fully by hand. And that's how we really get this texture. Perfect. So Nikki is about around the whole car. She's finishing up her last little bit now. She is all finished with this side of 1500. So this is kind of what you end up with. So we don't completely soak the panel. You need a little bit of friction and having too much water will just cause it to glide and you can pick up little specks of stuff easier. So this allows for a much more uniform cut. Just a normal, normal amount of water, nothing crazy. So there's a dirt nib right there. As you can see, she's not gouging right into that little dirt nib. She's just treating it one with the panel while semi-focusing on it just to ensure that it's gone. And sometimes you will actually pop that little piece of dirt out of the panel and underneath there. So you gotta listen for the squeaking or you can feel it too. Yeah, so you can kind of see that's just barely hit, knocks that texture out. Want to get it completely smoothed out. So like that. And this is 1500 grit. We like using the discs. I'm 
Yeah, I know this would look good on like a black or even a charcoal body. Looks good. All right, let's untape it. Looks like a GTR color. It does. It's very similar. It's kind of in between the GTR and Mr. Chrome. And Mr. Chrome, yep. <laughs>
paint job time on this one. So first step you'll want to do is wax and grease remover to clean the surface. Um, so none of this thing is being stripped. I am not supposed to be doing any body work, but I could not live with this door gap. So it's still not great, but it's good enough for a race car and going satin black. So again, this thing is not being stripped. Uh, everybody, you can do this yourselves. You do not need me to do it. Don't ask me, please. <laughs> we have plenty to do and do not have time for this kind of stuff. So we're gonna take apart the little things that come off relatively easily. That'll make a difference. Jesse's about to drop this bumper. Um, I'm trying to, I'll probably pull these door handles. Um, this I was gonna remove, but I might end up leaving it. But yeah, first step we're gonna do is sand this entire car with 320 grit, probably just on a DA. Um, there are some waves and wobbles throughout, but again, we're not addressing any of that. We're just prepping it and doing a satin black. And then he's gonna put some gloss black stripes on it. It's gonna look pretty sweet. Um, those are gonna be done in vinyl. And this is really just a temporary thing for this season so that the car can look complete and it's gonna look badass. But this really isn't the way that I would like to paint a car, but that's okay. That is okay. We will be stripping it and doing it in depth probably this winter, but for now I can live with this. So we are making contact on our fender edges. So I don't wanna paint that and then have it peel on the edge like it was before. Jesse's working those. We got this side, nice. So at least nothing's gonna be touching. Hey, come here. Okay. Okay. Here, come here, listen. Sweet. I think we're free. Yep, not touching. Nope. Good job, buddy. As you can see, all that texture needs knocked out smooth. So I think the back of this car was actually done in a polyester primer. So it's a thicker and it's got more build, but it takes longer to sand. So if I was blocking it, it'd be a different story. It'd be good, but for at least for its use, but we're just sanding it smooth. This thing is just about ready to pull outside now and blow off so we can start to clean and tape. So basically we sanded the entire body with a DA and an interface pad with 240 grit and then we followed it up with 320. And then final, we're going to hit it super quick with one of these just to make sure all the texture is nice and smooth. Um, the roof and the quarters, I think these were done in like feather fill, um, which is a, a polyester primer. It's like a real thick high build. And so it had a ton of texture as you guys saw to sand out smooth. And you'll never get perfect with this procedure. Pretty much anybody can do this. So like I said, don't ask me to do this. I do not have time, unless but, it is worth our while. But, 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 but. <laughs> this is going to turn out really cool, though. It is. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And That's I do so understand. Different. To get a season out of it and make it look cool, 
Dude, so Especially with those gloss stripes, he's probably not even going to want to strip it down and paint it. Not for a while, at least. He probably will, but it's kind of a brush, breath, little breath of fresh air and not like having to cut things. And That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it looks sinister. Oh, I kind of love it. Yeah, I like it too. Oh, this is sick. Man, that's cool. I like it. We had blast paint on the boots like this too with our old lights. Oh yeah, bye bye old lights. Our paint booth sucks, we know. <laughs> Don't mention it. It doesn't matter about the paint booth, it matters what comes out of it. Word. Okay. <laughs> together and it's got some stuff on it from putting it together 
but it's looking nice. Now we can pull it outside and check it all out. In the sun, we got a sunny day. And she's done. What do you think, Nikki Nikki? Can you live with it? Sure.